Supporting Maths at Home, Place Value 2. Representations in a Place Value Chart. We use representations a lot in primary maths to support our children with learning of number, and it simply means using something like counters, squares or pictures in a Place Value Chart in place of that digit to represent a number more clearly. So if we start with the number 345, and we showed you a representation of that, we would have three counters in the hundreds column, four counters in the tens column, and five counters in the ones column. A counter in the hundreds column has a value of 100, a counter in the tens column has a value of 10, and a counter in the ones column has a value of 1. So let's change our number from 345 to 2345. To do this, we need an extra column in the place value chart. Obviously, that's the thousands. And we can pop the digit 2 in there to show that we have two lots of a thousand. So we would represent that with two counters. Again, we'd have three in the hundreds, four in the tens, and five in the ones. 